Hey, this is a very preliminary look at the crash of flight American Flight 5342 uh, earlier today. Uh, this is the setup from ADSB Exchange. There are four planes that are in this shot here. Uh, there's the helicopter down here. There is Flight 5342 here, which is uh, plane number N709PS. And there's another United Airlines flight here, United Airlines uh, 3130, coming into land on the longer runway here. And uh, 709 PS, which is the plane which crashed, is coming into land into this runway here. So it would have been landing first, this plane would have landed second. The helicopter's coming along here, it's coming south along the Potomac. And it was advised by air traffic control to go behind the CRJ. The CRJ is this plane here, uh, flight 5342 and 709PS, uh, which is a smaller plane, a Canadian re original jet. This plane over here is a larger plane. Uh, it is, I believe, a 737. Uh, so the from the point of view of the helicopter, it's flying along here. It's told to stay behind the uh, the Canadian re regional jet is asked if it had it in sight. But in front of it, from its point of view, there's actually two planes which are visible. Uh, there's the smaller jet here, the, the CRJ, and then there's the larger plane which is further off into the distance. And if we play it forward, it could well be that uh, the pilot of the helicopter mistook this plane for the closer plane. It would have been a larger plane, so its landing lights would have looked similar to this plane. It would have looked like it was, in fact, closer. But if they were fixated on moving behind this plane, they may not have missed, they may not have noticed the smaller plane, which was, in fact, the one that they were supposed to go behind. And it looks from that track, it's kind of an incomplete track. The data isn't very good there, uh, but they, they do seem to be going towards the larger and more distant plane, which is the United Airlines. 3130, uh, November 765 US. Uh, so that's one possible explanation for uh, the possible loss of situational awareness, which caused them to crash into this plane. Um, as I said, it's a very preliminary assessment, but it kind of does leap out to you that right in front of them, they had another plane which was coming essentially straight towards them, coming towards this airport here. The landing lights of this plane would have been very bright uh, possibly even brighter than the landing lights of this plane, which were actually closer. And this would have created the illusion that this was, in fact, the plane that they were supposed to go behind. So if we play that through from the start, here's the helicopter coming south along the river. Here's the plane that crashed coming in from the left. And here's this plane in the distance. The pilot's trying to go behind this plane. Doesn't notice this plane, unfortunately, until it is too late. Uh, so that's one possible scenario. Of course, we'll find out more later.